There are many pieces to the precision puzzle. One of those pieces is accurate data. Accurate, reliable data requires the correct measuring tools. Here are some of the measuring tools you will find on my reloading bench. Hi, my name is Jason Stanley. Welcome to Connect the Dots. Construction workers have tape measures, reloaders have calipers. Whenever I need an accurate measurement out to the third decimal spot, I grab my caliper. Things like case length, cartridge overall length, base to ogive, measuring the shoulder bump, etc. Very seldom do I work in the reloading room and not use my calipers. When using a caliper, a quick check method to make sure that the object is square in the jaws is to hold the caliper up to the light. Any light will shine through if the object's not square. When I need an accurate fourth decimal spot, I use my micrometer. The most common time that I use my micrometer is finding the over bullet measurement. This is the distance from outside to outside of the case neck over a seated bullet. This is a very important measurement when finding your neck tension and neck clearance. There are a few machinists and gunsmiths that can use a caliper to do this. For the rest of us, we need to use a micrometer. Hi, my name is Jason Stanley with Connect the Dots. If this is the type of information that you'd like to learn about, I'm asking you to do two things, like and subscribe. Those two things will help Connect the Dots continue to grow and get better. Thanks for watching. I use a ball micrometer when I'm measuring the thickness of my case necks when I'm turning brass. This measurement, along with some math, will give me a theoretical idea of my over bullet measurement. I then confirm with a seated bullet using a micrometer. Both my micrometer and my ball mic are attached to a stand. This makes measuring objects a lot easier. A chamber gauge is used with a caliper to measure how much the shoulder is being bumped back when I resize the brass. On a custom barrel, the gunsmith will make me a chamber gauge by running the chamber reamer into a scrap piece of barrel. On factory barrels, I like to use Hornaday's lock and load headspace gauge. On hunting brass, I like to bump the shoulder back two thousandths. On competition brass, half to one thousandths. I use Hornaday's lock and load bullet comparator along with a caliper when finding my base of the case to ogive length. This measurement is what I use when I deal anything with bullet seating depth. The base to ogive length is consistently more accurate than the cartridge overall length, which is base of the case to tip of the bullet. Actually, the only time I use my cartridge overall length is making sure my loaded rounds fit in the magazine. Super quick info on bullets. Bullet lengths can vary, meaning I have one box of bullets here. If I measure the overall length of this bullet, it might not be the same as this bullet. Even custom made bullets vary in length, but that's okay because that's not a super important measurement. What doesn't vary as much, as long as the same point up die was used, is the base of the bullet to the ogive. That is why measuring the seating depth from base of the case to ogive of the bullet is a much better way than cartridge overall length. Now, here's the wrinkle in the laundry. Many times, big bullet companies will have multiple point-up dies, meaning even though these bullets are in one box, those bullets may not be the same. In those situations, I use a bullet comparator and I sort the bullets. Depending on how precise you want to be, you can make as many piles as you want. Accuracy and precision on the target starts with precision while reloading. Learn how to use these tools and you'll be on your way to shooting smaller groups. Until next time. Enjoy the experience.